So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and welcome to a nice new little scene here. But today we're gonna go over my top five most used, most recommendable MacBook Air M1 version productivity apps. So I know that was a mouthful, so we're doing top five productivity apps for the M1 MacBook Air or any M1 machine therefore. So without further ado, let's get it going. So like I mentioned, today we're going to be going over my top five M1 MacBook Air productivity apps. And the first one that I'm going to start with is actually a new browser that I've been playing with. And I've been playing with it for a while now. So the browser is called Brave. And the reason I went with Brave is because it's supposed to be built on the same Chromium. So it's still built with what Chrome uses, which is awesome to have. So it's very, very similar in the UI and the intuitiveness is very similar to Chrome. So this is the website for the Brave browser. So again, the browser reimagined three times faster than Chrome, better privacy than Firefox, and uses 35% less battery on your mobile devices. So those are all big claims, because again, Chrome is a big battery drainer, especially on the M1 Max, because they're not, even though they are optimized, it still is not as efficient as Safari, right? So being able to have that extra battery life and better battery performance is awesome to have, and through my testing, it has worked a decent amount. And then what I do like about it is, if you're a big Chrome user and you're hesitant to move over because of all your bookmarks and sign-ins and all your saved passwords, you can easily migrate everything over to your Brave browser. So you can see that these bookmarks were actually the same exact bookmarks that I had on my Chrome browser, but now it's on Brave. And the big reason that I kind of went towards Brave, and it's built on this thing called BAT, Basic Attention Tokens. And the idea is to give back to the creator, right? So Brave is really cool that way in terms of the way they do all their ad blocking and privacy is you have the choice as a user, as a Brave browser user, you can put into the settings a choice of, hey, I'll watch these ads that you show me that are sent to me, but only if you pay me to watch them. And that is where this BAT, this basic attention token comes into play, which is another cryptocurrency, yes, I know, but at the end of the day, they are paying you. And I've been using this for about a year, and over time, because BAT has increased in value, I have like $60 that I could use for whatever. Right, so it's just kind of something there. I mean, you're not gonna get rich just by using this and watching ads all day, but it's cool to know that it'll block ads de by default, but then again, it'll offer like, hey, if you wanna watch these ads, we'll give you X amount of BAT tokens and just sit, sit there and watch that 30 second ad before the YouTube video, essentially. So that is what the Brave browser is in a nutshell. They're very, very big on privacy, very big on giving the users back for their data, which I think is huge and a beautiful thing to see. So overall, this is my browser of choice for right now. Again, I used it off and on for about a year, but now for the last month, I've been using it pretty religiously and it's just cool to have. And it gives you like a nice little foot in the door when it comes to cryptocurrency too, to kind of play around with. And again, $60 in a little less than a year of not doing anything different aside from browsing, I'll take it. So the next application is actually a suite of applications. And if you guys have been watching the channel, you know that I'm a big Microsoft Office user. So Microsoft Office has been released for the M1 MacBook Air or any of the M1 Mac SOCs, so the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, and most of their basic applications like Microsoft Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, even OneDrive, these are all made to go and run on the M1. There's only a couple of the main ones like Microsoft Teams that still runs on an Intel-based version and not the M1 version. Why they haven't moved it over, I don't really know yet, but as you guys can see, it opens up very quickly. There isn't any lagging, no hiccuping. It just runs through Rosetta 2 for the first time once you install it. And then by all means, Microsoft Teams works great. And the Microsoft Suite is one of the best suites in ecosystems out there, especially if you, even if you go with the basic version of the $8 a month, you get a lot, especially if you're within a big organization. Now again, the main reason I do use Microsoft is because my organization uses it. So I'm kind of forced to be in this ecosystem, but it has gotten a lot better and it's gotten a lot more Mac user friendly as time has gone on. So overall, I love the Microsoft suite. It's perfect for students, perfect for you know people just trying to get personal work done. And obviously it's great for larger corporations to be able to collaborate in real time with other employees in that organization. So again, I'm in Outlook 24 seven. I'm in Microsoft Teams all the time and again, most of them are M1 compatible and ready to go, but Microsoft Teams is not. So the way that you download them, or the best way that I found to download them, is to look up the Microsoft Suite on the Mac App Store. Do not go to the office.com website, but you go to Microsoft Office, you can download the entire productivity suite, and then to download Microsoft Teams, you just go to the Microsoft Teams website and download Teams that way. So again, this is what you get in the M1 version, so there's six applications and you just go from there and it works very, very well. And I'm just glad that Microsoft is moving so quickly to make sure that their Mac users are having a good experience 
especially compared to the Windows users. And the next productivity app is actually today's sponsor for the video, and it's Clean My Mac X by MacPaw. And you guys have probably seen this in the past, you've seen this in videos. If you're a Mac user and you wanna make sure that you are as clean as possible, making sure that you're making the most out of all the data inside of your computer, and making sure that you're protected from any cybersecurity risk, whether it's ransomware, malware, whatever the case may be, because you never know when it's coming, whether it's through an email or through anything else, it could happen at any time. So Clean My Mac X is just that, right? So you just pop this guy open right here. I love this little real-time widget that lets you know exactly how much availability you have, what your memory is looking like, how much is in your trash, the CPU load. So it's a great for somebody that likes to see all of your analytics and all of your computer statistics at a glance. But then also, it's just a great way to make sure that your computer is fully scanned and completed. So the smart scan feature is included with the free version, but then all these other ones like the malware removal, the privacy, optimization, maintenance, these are all things that are part of the paid version. So there is a freemium version. I highly recommend it. If you guys do have a Mac computer, whether it is an Intel or an M1, Download the free version, get yourself a smart scan, just do it once, just to see what's on your computer and what you can kind of get out of there, what's not needed and what they protected you from. And then if you do want even more customization, even more protection from malware and more privacy features and then optimizing your M1, especially because I'm on the 8 gig model, I like to make sure that I'm optimally running as highly efficient as possible. Clean My Mac X does that for you and I believe it's $35 for a whole year. Just click on the first link in the description below. Thank you so much for MacPaw for sponsoring this video. So to continue on with my productivity applications, so this is a company called Taskade, and Taskade is a collaborative task managing tool that I absolutely love. The main reason I love it is because of how intuitive it is, it's beautiful to look at. Right now I'm on the web portal version because I just like it a little bit better, but they do have dedicated applications for Windows and Mac, they have dedicated applications for the iPad, and for the iPhone, so wherever you are, you can access your Taskade dashboard. And again, it's just a great way to make sure that you're collabing with the right people, putting projects together, making sure deadlines are being met. The best thing about it is that it's absolutely free. There's no limit to how many people you can have on a free version. You can have a company of 150 people, 200 people, and all of them sign up for free, and you're good to go. You don't have to pay anything, right? So it's just a great way to get started with the task management software. I compared a lot to like Monday.com or Osana, those kinds. But again, you're dealing with a free version of it and it's, in my opinion, it's better. Especially the video chatting capabilities to be able to go in here and the video chat capability works on the iPad Pro even while multitasking. So keep that in mind. But overall, I love the UI of Taskade. For instance, if I, this is the overall guide that I just like to look at, but there's different ways to view it, like in boards, you can view it in the mind map, which is really cool over here. You can chat live with whoever is in there with you, cross things out, categorize them. It's just a great tool to have. And again, it's, or it's a free application, free service, and Taskit is just wonderful to have. And that is my task management slash like to-do list manager that I use on a daily basis. And then my next application for productivity in terms of getting work and video editing done, uh, I like to use an app called Movavi. So Movavi is a new video editor that I've been playing with. It's $40 for the year, $60 for a lifetime purchase. This is the Video Editor Plus, and it's just very intuitive, very easy to use, very self-explanatory. So it's very intuitive, very easy to use. I think it's a great middle ground between somebody using iMovie and then somebody trying to spend $300 on Final Cut Pro because this is, you know, that $60 mark for the lifetime, $40 for the one year, and it's just great to, to be able to learn and add more than what you would do with iMovie. iMovie is very limited and there isn't much that you can do. It's great to learn how to just cut clips, put them together, transition them together, but this is a lot better because you can have overlays, you have effect packages, custom stickers, custom icons. Uh, custom overlays, LUTs you can start to play with. So it's a lot more intuitive and a lot more user-friendly for people that are trying to get a little bit more out of their video editing software, but not spend $300 on it. And then the final application has to be just classic Apple Notes, right? So classic Apple Notes is where I do a lot of my note-taking for the YouTube video, for work, because it's just accessible everywhere I am. And like you, like you guys see, even for this video, I just planned out the five applications that I'm gonna talk about. Talk about iPadOS, my other video, other holistic YouTube ideas. And basically whenever I have an idea that just spur of the moment, what I do is I pull up the notes app, write it down, and then come back later to, to figure out exactly if I wanna make that video or not. So those are my top five applications, but let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So that's pretty much gonna do for this video, everybody. Like you guys saw, my setup is pretty simple, pretty minimal. I like to stay with the tried and true. So it was a Microsoft suite, the notes application, everything that I've used and I know how to use. There's some other ones like the Brave browser that's pretty new that I like to play with and things like that just because it speeds up everything and it makes me more efficient when I work. But other than that, 
I keep it very simple when it comes to my application. So these are all applications that are easy to get. Most of them have a freemium version of it. So by all means, check them out. They're all gonna be linked down in the description below. And also a huge shout out to MacPaw and Clean My Mac X for sponsoring this video. I've been using them for a while now and I do highly recommend them, especially if you're on the new M1 Max and you wanna make sure that that thing stays pristine and away from all you know bugs and unnecessary data that's on there. So by all means, so check out the free version below. There's also a paid version that gives you a lot more add-ons and a lot more safety. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.